All right, guys, we are working on math today. We're doing math 8-2. So we're going back to 8-2. We did 8-1, 8-9, 8-10, and now we're back to 8-2. But we are still converting measurements here. Um, I want you to think about for just a minute things that might be about an inch long or an inch wide. Either way. What do you think? I wish I had you right here so you could give me your responses. Um, this part of my thumb is about an inch. Um, a quarter is about an inch. The thickness of a textbook is about an inch. This one might be a little bit bigger, but it's right about that size. So that's about an inch. Now think about some things that might be the length of a foot. If you actually said a foot foot, there's my foot, then you'd be right. That's about a foot. It's about this length, right? I should have just grabbed my ruler from the other room. Oh well. Um, the length of a box of tissues is about a foot. Um, the, not the family size, but a smaller box of cereal would be about a foot. Now switch gears and I want you to think about a yard. Any ideas about a yard? Not your outside living space at your house, but like a yard stick. Now, I had a yard stick in our classroom right up on the little tray by the whiteboard and I would use it to point to things. And I would have used it for this lesson, but it's at school. That is a yard, it's three feet. Boom, 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 that's our yard. You can't see my hands in this amount of space, but um, that's a yard. The length of my chalkboard right here is about a yard, okay? It's three feet, okay? Um, a picture might be about, like a picture on a wall, that's the same as my chalkboard. A window could be about a yard, okay? So let's turn to page um, 319 in your student workbooks. 319, we are talking again about converting measurements. Um, we've done meters and liters and um, grams. These ones are gonna be just a little bit different because um, we're talking about inches and feet and yards and miles. Okay, so what page did I say? 319. So up at the top here, we've got a great um, picture for us to look at that's going to help us. Um, follow along with me as I read through. One foot equals 12 inches. Remember, this is about our inch. 12 of those equals a foot, so we'd be right about there, okay? One yard is the same as three feet, which would also equal 36 inches, right? Because there's th um, 12 inches in a foot, and if there's three feet, then that's 12 times three, that would give us 36 inches. So one yard equals three feet, which equals 36 inches. A mile is 1,760 yards, um, and if we times that by three, because there's three feet in a yard, then we would get 5,280 feet that are in a mile. And if you've ever run a mile, you probably realize that it's, it's pretty far, actually. Okay, so example number one, we're going to convert to a smaller unit. So we're taking 15 yards and deciding how many feet that would be. So let's think through that. In one yard, there's three feet. So 15 yards, we could find out how many feet. We would still need to divide by three, right? Uh, because there's three feet in one yard. So if we divide 15 by three, we would get five feet. Oh, 45 feet. Goodness, you guys. Let's start over. Let's do number one again. This is rewinding because I'm holding you. I told you wrong and I'm not paying attention here. 
Ooh, and I'm on a time crunch today, so I am sorry if our lesson is going to be a little bit quick. But this lesson shouldn't be too hard, especially if I teach it right. Oh, hmm. We're converting to a smaller unit. We're going back right here to this part, and I promise to teach it right this time. Okay. We're going to multiply because we need more of the smaller units. Feet are smaller than yards. So if we have 15 yards, how many of those little feet are going to go into the 15 yards? We're going to multiply by three because in one yard there are three feet. There we go. Oh, Mrs. Norman can do math. <laughs> Sometimes I can. So 15 yards equals 45 feet because three times 15 is 45. Okay, let's look at number two. Oh, I'm recording a video. So I'm recording a video. Will you tell me in a minute? Sorry, my daughter just left it. When we convert to a larger unit, that's when we divide. So if we're going from 48 inches, which are small, to how many feet, we're getting bigger. So we need to divide. And we divide because we'll need fewer of the larger units. Um, if we're going from small, too bigger, then we'll have less of those larger units. So 40 inches is how many feet? We're going to divide by 12 because 12 inches equals one foot. So 48 inches divided by 12 equals four. So let's do a little of those. I do have my board handy if we need to go through these. In fact, I can write some down. Guys, I ordered a new whiteboard, and it's coming, and it's tall, and it stands by itself, and it'll make our um, learning videos so much better. So, okay. Okay, so if we are converting to smaller units, we multiply. Now you're not going to be able to see that. Okay, converting to smaller units, we multiply. If we're converting to larger units, we divide. Okay, so this is going to be kind of our cheat today. Let's look at number one. We're going 24 inches equals how many feet? Okay, so we've got little tiny inches and we're going to feet. So we are converting to a larger unit. So we're going to divide. Okay, 24 inches equals how many feet? Well, there are 12 inches in one foot. Um, because we have 24 inches, we're going to divide by two. So 24 divided by two, oh my heavens, Mrs. Norman. We are going to divide by 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot. 24 divided by 12 is two, oh my heavens. 24 inches equals two feet. I am struggling today, you guys, I'm sorry. Oh my heck, I love you. <laughs> okay. Okay, now let's try another one. Let's do number two. We are going from 24 feet to how many yards does that make? Okay, so we're going from feet to yards, so we're converting to a larger unit. So we're going to divide, okay? Um, how many feet are in a yard? Three feet per yard, right? There's three feet in one yard. So in this case, I'm going from feet to yards. Um, there's three feet in one yard. To get from three to one, I'm dividing by three. So I can do that same thing right up here if I divide by three. 24 divided by three is eight. So 24 feet equals eight yards. Okay, 
Okay, let's keep going. Make sure you're putting these answers into your workbook as we go. Um, okay, number three, we're going to do feet. So we're going from 12 feet to how many inches? Okay, in one foot, how many inches are in a foot? 12, right? We've got 12 inches in a foot. So I'm going from one to 12 down here. And look, I'm going from, I'm converting to a smaller unit. I'm going from feet to inches. So if I convert into a smaller unit, these feet to inches, I'm going to multiply. And I can tell that I'm doing that right here because right here I wrote down there's one foot and 12 inches in a foot. I'm going one times 12 gets me to 12. So I can do the same thing right up here. 12 times 12 equals 144. So in 12 feet, there is 144 inches. Okay. Mason, do you have a question? I thought Maze Avery was going with you. Okay. Okay. If you write it out like this, it will make your life a little bit easier. It'll be easier to figure out what the conversions are. You guys be safe. Wear your masks. They're going to the store really quick. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's skip. Let's do um, number... Let's do number eight. Let's do number eight. This is going to be a little bit different. How many feet um, equal 54 inches? How many feet equal 54 inches? Well, one thing I'm going to check is I'm going from feet to inches. So I'm converting. I'm going larger to smaller. I'm converting to smaller. So it tells me right here that I'm going to multiply. And let's just take a look really quick anyway. Let's see. In one foot, there's 12 inches. So here's my base here, right here, my base um, measurements. And this is going to help me too. Okay. So to go from 1 to 12, I'm multiplying by 12. And on this one, I'm multiplying by 12. So what times 12 equals 54? Another way to do this, actually, is we're going to have to go backwards, right? If I don't know the first option, I'm going to have to go backwards. So I'm going to say 54 divided by 12 will give me this option. So let's try that. I'm going to do it right over here on the side. I've got 54 divided by 12. Okay, um, 50, 12, I know 10 goes into 50-ish, about five times. Um, I know that 12 times 4 is 48. I'm going to try that. Let's try 4. Um, 12 times 4. So 12 times 4 is 48. I multiply, I write that right there, then I subtract 54 minus 48. 14 minus 8 is 6. So I've got a leftover of 6. I do not want a remainder here. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to put a decimal here and add a 0 so that I can keep going. I want to bring down that 0 and keep um, going with my division problem. Because what that gives me at the bottom is 60. And I know that 12 goes into 60. Exactly. It goes in there 5 times. Now I can't remember, I can't forget my decimal. <laughs> I've got to put that in there, sorry. So 54 divided by 12 is 4 and 5 tenths, or 4 and a half, or 4.5. So 4 and a half feet, or 4.5 feet, equals 54 inches. Okay? So that's what we're doing on our homework today, is converting between inches and yards and miles and we are using this chart our units of length chart to do that so make sure that you um, are using that now let's talk a little bit about perimeter perimeter should be a little bit of a uh, review for you um so check check out number 11 it's right down here at the bottom. I do want you to finish these. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead, but I want you to finish practicing those. And then we'll move on to perimeter, okay? Perimeter is the amount of um, 
the measurements of the outside of a shape. There we go, Mrs. Norman. So we're adding up all of these outside measurements. Okay, area is what's inside our shape, but these outside measurements are our perimeter, and we just add those all together. So to calculate the perimeter of each figure in feet, I'm going to add up each side. I don't know why my computer keeps beeping, so I must be getting some messages or something. But So if I was doing number 11, I would add 36 plus 5 plus four. And I would add them up all together to get my answer for um, number 11. I can do that. I know that five plus four is nine. 36 plus nine is 45, right? That's pretty fast, but I can't forget my label. 45 feet, okay? And when we do perimeter, we don't square our answer. It's just 45 feet, okay? So I'd like you to try that with number 12. Now, the key or the thing that's special about number 12 is there is one side that they don't give you a measurement for. But I think that you can figure out what the measurement is. So you take a look and see. Um, also, oh, oh my, this is Norman. Did you guys find my mistake? I am like the puzzle penguin today. Oh my land. Did you find my mistake on number 11? Oh, see, it was a trick. It was all a trick. I did it wrong to see if you would figure it out. Oh my gosh, I am struggling. My measurements are not all the same on number 11, are they? I've got 36 inches, 5 feet, and 4 feet. I can't add them up like this because they're not all the same unit of measurement, Mrs. Norman. So I think what I'd like to do is keep those two in feet and convert this 36 inches to feet. And then I can add up all the sides together in feet. So let's try that. Okay, so this is inches, right? Okay, there are how many inches in one foot? Because I want all of them to be feet. So this is the one that I'm gonna change. There are 12 inches in one foot. Okay, there's 12 inches in one foot. Oh, excuse my writing today. I promise when I get that new whiteboard, it'll be a lot better. Well, I know that I have 36 inches. So now I need to know how many feet that equals. I'm going from 12 to one. So I'm dividing by 12, right? 12 inches to one foot to get from 12 to one, I'm dividing by 12. So I can do the same thing right here. 36 divided by 12 equals 3. Okay, so I know that this is 3, and I can change my label to feet. Now I've got it. Now I can add these up. 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 4 is 12. So I've got 12 feet. Whew, we made it. We made it. Now, on number 12, there's a couple things you have to do. There is one side that's missing a measurement. You're going to have to figure out what that measurement is. But if you also take a look, you have two different types of measurements. You've got inches and you've got feet. And so you're going to have to convert. It doesn't matter which way you do it. But I think if you convert them to feet, it'll be easier because your numbers will be smaller. Right? There's 12 inches in one foot. Um, the feet measurements will be a smaller number because it's a larger type of measurement. So I would convert to feet and try that. All right. Um, the rest of our assignment is a multi-step problem. I am going to create another video for those and we'll go through a couple of those on page 320. So that's it for this video. Um, I will tell you for your homework though, I forgot to bring that in. Let's take a look at your homework paper. Um, if you watch the videos, that's when I tell you which ones you're doing, right? I would like you to do, ooh, so you don't have any real world problems on this one. So let's do this. We are doing um, 
Hmm. Uh, I'm going to have you do one through 11 odd. And then 13, 14, 15, 16. So you've got 1 through 11 odd on the top part. You only have to do the odd ones. But I want you to do all of the perimeter ones on the bottom. 13, 14, 15, 16. That's your homework. So never mind. I'm not going to do another video um, for the multi-step problems today. This is it. That's it. I am sorry. Today is Friday. I'm recording this video ahead of time, obviously. And... It's just been, it's a Friday. I don't know why. My brain has checked out. So I feel like the puzzled penguin today. But it's good because at least we can, two things. I can point out that I make mistakes all the time in math. That's okay. That's what erasers are for. And two, um, what was my other point? Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? I make mistakes all the time. Oh, you can pick out my mistakes. And if you can pick out my mistakes, that helps you learn too. Um, it shows that you're learning when you can pick out the mistakes that I make. So it's, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think I better be done for the day. I love you guys. Have a great day. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I'm sorry. We'll chat soon. Have a wonderful, super great Monday.